This is a great way, if you're having overheating problems, you need to try burping your system because you may have air bubbles uh, that are in your engine, that are in your radiator and heater core and all that. So this is one of the Bronco Basics and uh, I'm doing a couple videos on here, the Bronco Basics, where it's just, you know, basic stuff. Sometimes if you're new to the Bronco community, if you're new to owning a classic car, you may not know this stuff. And if you enjoy this video, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can sign up for the Better Bronco Challenge. Now there's a free PDF where I walk through like 20 things to check on your Bronco. So today what we're talking about is coolant. The coolant, obviously you guys know what coolant does, it cools down the engine. But something that you may not know about the coolant is it actually is kind of stored throughout the engine block. So a lot of times you think, oh, coolant's just stored in the radiator right here, but it really is stored throughout the engine block and also in your heater core. So your coolant is the thing that actually heats up your heater core. Now, a while ago I did a pretty cool video where I replaced the heater hoses with clear tubing. Now it's not rated for like hot enough for driving, but it was pretty cool just to see the coolant flow through the heater hoses and see the direction that it flowed. And it was neat just kind of seeing, okay, this is where the coolant comes out. It goes into the heater core and then it comes back out. And so that's a great example of just all the places that coolant could be in your system. Today, what I just want to talk about is one, where to put the coolant, two, how to drain the coolant, and three, how to fill back up the coolant and burp your system. So looking at the engine, your radiator is right here. And this is the little spot where you will put in new coolant. Now you definitely don't want to open this when the engine is hot, so make sure that it is cooled down before opening this. So when you're looking at the engine from the driver's side, you'll notice on your radiator, there's a little petcock down there. To drain the radiator, you just turn that and then the coolant will flow out of there. So the next step of what you need to do is you need to fill up your radiator. So first I would recommend getting a funnel. And this is just gonna help you put that funnel in there, pour the radiator fluid in there, and it is gonna help you to not just spill it everywhere. But one thing that I never really realized was your, your radiator and your coolant system, it's all pressurized, meaning when you fill up the radiator, just like this with the engine off there's going to be air pockets and air bubbles in there it's going to be air pockets in the radiator in your engine in your heater core all over and so it's really important that when you fill up your radiator that you actually burp the system now to burp the system what you need is a funnel like i said before but one of these that is a spill proof funnel and i'll put a link to this one in the description below so you take this guy and you stick that inside the radiator you put this on top and it seals and then this fits right inside of there now why that's important is because when you are putting fluid in your radiator you actually want to have your engine running and you want to fill it up past the the line in here where it would actually spill out with any other funnel that wasn't sealed properly so i'm going to show you what all i'm talking about so step one you take this guy and you put him inside of there like that and then you take whatever cap fits over your radiator and you put it on there and you twist and then you take your spill free funnel and you put it inside of there like that.
The bubbles are the key because that means that it has started the heating cycle. And one thing you can also do is turn on your heat. Ran the system, got it nice and hot. Um, bubbles kind of stopped. Coming up at the top, I opened the heater, I closed the heater, did all that stuff, I put the plunger in, and then, whoa! Oh yeah, careful, that was dumb. Uh, duh, the coolant now is boiling hot, and you should not remove this. You should wait until it cools down. Learn from my mistakes, always. But yeah, this thing's great. They are super cheap to buy and it really just helps. Like this is a great way, if you're having overheating problems, you need to try burping your system because you may have air bubbles uh, that are in your engine, that are in your radiator and heater core and all that. So this is a great way to get rid of those bubbles. If you found this video helpful, download the Better Bronco PDF. It's a free PDF, it has like 20 things that you should be looking at and working on to get your Bronco running and driving better than it ever has. And pick yourself up a spill-free funnel. All right guys, thanks for watching.